Hey guys, welcome to my channel Data Driven Decisions. Since the channel, I talk more about data science and you know, technology kind of stuff. If you are interested in that, you can just check it out and subscribe to my channel for more information and for upcoming videos. So over here, you'll find a lot of different interesting topics. So you can see that uh, this is the Julia Python comparisons, and which is going, which is I'm going to uh, show you today the next version, next comparison between the Julian Python in terms of string and if you are interested in uh, like Quora or this sort of uh, forums you can just check out over here so it's a the Quora channel Quora space basically so over here you'll find more information of latest technology trends and everything in terms of data science machine learning AI cloud this sort of things so let's get let's get back to the channel so the topic basically so in in this today's topics we are going to uh, like compare the like string properties and methods between the python and julia programming language so over here you can see that uh, this is basically the python notebook uh, over here the python has been installed and over here it is a julia notebook so julia uh, is uh, installed over here so i just compare like this as the different uh, like things which I'm going to show you in Python and I'm going to show the same thing in Julia to see how it is different and how, what are the different things in Julia so that you can learn Julia properly. So first of all, you can see that, so this is basically the uh, like stream. So this is my name, Shomo Prothoroy. And I have just assigned it with the name uh, variable basically. So if I run this one, so you can see that so it is <clears throat> it is running so if i just quickly show you what is name represents name and if i run it so it is showing my name basically okay now uh, suppose some some any reason you can say that if i would like to just uh, change the name uh, in my title roy to poi just to show you, just to, for a fun part. So, in that case, what I'll do is that I'll just uh, name, I just uh, take the name minus t equals to p. So, what does name minus t means? So, if I just do like this minus 3, because minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 in the reverse in this thing. So, if I just run this one, you can see that it will represent r so i just want to change the r so in that case what i'll do in the next cell i'll just run this uh, particular cell so name minus 3 equals to p so i'll just take r to p in that case i'll just run it so you can see that like string object does not support item assignment basically it is not happening because in stream you cannot change uh, the items internal items in this way so it is uh, it is a like uh, immutable basically uh, you cannot change anything in the string <coughs> in python so say let's see if we can do the same thing in julia so i just copy this uh, this cell over here and if i just paste it over here and run it So you can see that uh, the same string I'm getting over here and let's see I could get the same thing over here also in Julia. It is not going to come. I'll show you for purposefully. So in Julia, uh, the reverse interesting start at end. So basically in Python it starts at minus one. So why is minus one zero is minus two in this way but in julia it starts with end so if you just give end and if you run it you'll see the y so the basically index of y is end and in then what you will do end minus one minus two so if you give the minus two over here and if you run this you'll see r 
so that in that is another difference i have shown you earlier in my earlier videos if you haven't checked out it please check it out there are a lot of good comparisons which can help you to understand julia better now uh, what i'm going to do is that i'm just going to assign that to p the same thing which i have done in python so i just run it no method matching set index so it's not happening basically it's not a like uh, in, uh, it is not allowed in julia similar to python so that is and thing the same thing you can see that in python and julia so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to check a different method so so over here you can see that i have just used the first name as the shomoproto and the last name as the poi because I've just changed R to P. So I've just created two different string objects using two different variables. And the first name is Shomo Proto and the last name is POI. So I'll just run this one. And I'll do one thing. I'll do the concatenation basically. So you can see that name, I've just given a new variable that is name equals to first name plus last name okay so in that case i'll just run this cell so you can see that it has been assigned over here so if i again run it so new name is a shomoproto poi so it has been changed you can you can just call me and one thing is that why you have given the same name like over here also it's name over here it is also another name so the thing is that in python you can do the like same uh, like variable for different assignments over here so earlier i have assigned it to the shumakoto roi but over here it has been newly assigned to shumakoto po so that is the thing in python and i think in julia the same thing and now i'll do, i'm going to do the same thing in julia so for that i'll just copy this particular cell and if i just paste it over here and if i just run it it will only show the last item over here so now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to just uh, i'll do the same thing in julia and i'm going to just do that so in julia what happened is that you cannot it's not happening basically so in julia you cannot do uh, the string concatenation so you can see that uh, like first name plus last name it is not happening so in that case you have to do a different approach instead of plus we have to give star over here okay in julia concatenation is happening with star but it is not multiplication remember that so i just run this cell so you can see that so the same thing you will get in julia instead of like instead of plus you should use the star so you'll get this particular uh, object and now uh, yeah i'm going to show you a different approach uh, using function how can we do that you can already see that i have used uh, name and then use the replaced method basically so name dot replace and then i just give the existing value that is row i and then i've given the existing value that is poi so first of all i like to reassign the name because the name is already poi so i have to change it to roy so in that case i'll just again run this cell okay now it has reassigned to uh, Roy. Um, just to verify, I'm making just run this cell. It has been reassigned to Roy. And now I'm going to uh, like uh, run this particular cell that is print a name dot replace Roy to Poi. Then I just uh, run this cell. You can see that it's just happening. A simple formula. <clears throat> but in julia let's see if you can do that hmm. 
okay so first of all i need to reassign it i think uh, yeah i need to reassign the name variable to roy and then i'll just uh, do that so it is not happening so in julia you cannot do this in this way uh, so for that what you have to do is that the method name is same but the operation is little different in julia in that case what you have to do i have written it earlier i just uh, show you this one so i just copy this here and i just paste it over here just to show you okay so there is a particular function called replace so in the replace function we have to give the name of the string so the string over here is a name okay and then comma then what in the string you would like to change so in the string i like to change roy into poi so i have given the roy which i i want to change then in this way equals to greater than sign over there you have to change it to poi so i have given it poi so in that case if i run this particular cell okay you can see that uh, it has changed to poi earlier it was roy now it has become poi so that is another thing and uh, so this is basically the uh, replacement method in both julia and python so in this way you can see that and now what you have to do is that you have to show the string multiplication so over here you can see that i'm going to do the string multiplication so i'll just copy this and i just paste it over here and if i run it same thing is happening so over here what i have done is that i have just uh, like assigned s like is uh, basically character to a letter variable but one thing you need to always remember that in uh, julia programming language if you just use a single inverted comma sorry single uh, comma then if you run it it will take it as a uh, character so you will not be able to do any string operations over there so I'll just show you so i'll just write type of okay type of s so later and if i run it oh sorry it should be early so it's a character right and if I just use the uh, double invert, and if I run it, and if I can run this, you can see that it's a string. So these are two different kind of data types. So always remember that in in terms of Julia, but in Python that is not the case. Both of them are the same in Python. So now what I'm going to do is that uh, I'm going to uh, like just to show how to do the multiplication suppose over here in python you can see that i just run this cell and if i just do this like later into five then what i'll get five s's so because a letter equal to s so i'll get the string with five s's because i have multiplied with five but in julia let's see if you can do that so i just copy this and i just paste it over here okay so later into five i've done so if i run it so it is not available so in julia you cannot do the multiplication using five in using star basically so in that case you have to use a different approach what you have to do you have to is, uh, use instead of star you have to use like uh, to the power basically later to the power 5 okay so if i run it you'll get the same output as a string so 
So what is the difference? In uh, Julia, you have to use 2 to the power 5, but in Python, it was uh, into star only. But in Julia, for the concatenation I have shown you earlier, you have to use a star, but in Python, it should be positive, like plus. So that that that's the two differences in Julia and Python. So um, let's go to the next topic. Yeah. So this is a very interesting one. So in Python, uh, like suppose you just want to use it as a calculator. So if you just do what you have done is that you have just added five plus ten. So five is integer, and ten is integer. So you are going to just add those two integers. So if you run this particular cell, you can see that it is giving you 15. So it just sum up these two integers and give you the uh, 15. But but the thing is that if you just uh, do it as a string, so if you give 5 as string and 10 as string, and if you run this cell, you will get 5 on 10. So it just changed the meaning of in uh, between the like uh, integers and the string so the same thing is going to happen in python in julia so if you run this particular cell you'll get the 15 but if you just do in this way like and if you run this it will not let you run because it's a to totally different thing because it has taken it as a like uh, characters two different characters and you cannot add those characters basically so so yeah i have to just start in julia it don't let you run this so in that case what you have to do you have to just change to double Inverted comma. And if I just run this cell, you get 5, 1, 10. The same output you'll get on Julia also. So the same similar kind of stuff in Python and Julia in that case also. So this is another thing. And uh, yeah, the last thing I'd like to show is the string methods. So over here, you can see uh, some of the methods I have already written in Python. So what I have what I have done is that over here. So I have just given a s equals to thank you for watching my videos. So this is the basically a string, and I'm going to do some of the operations, basic operations in Python based using the Python methods basically. So this is string, and now I'm going to change that to upper letter. Like everything is going to be upper letter. In that case, I'll just run this cell. Okay, so you will get it as a total upper letter in that upper method. And if you would like to do the same for lower method, so if I run this, okay, so everything is going to be lower. If I, you can see that in the black original string, the T, the first T was capital letter, but over here it is become smaller letter. So it has changed to like uh, everything is smaller now. And the last thing is a split method so so if you just uh, give the s it's string variable dot split and give only the like parenthesis so if you run this one it will split the values based on the spaces so over here you can see that like there is a space between thank you so there is space you then for there is a space so you just split all the words in the statement into uh, different uh, like basically words in a list format this is the split method and if you like to uh, like split it in using some other characters in that case you have to use uh, some of the characters suppose i'm going to uh, use the a character to split it like i like to want to split in this way like th then split that n k u o u in this way basically so it will change the splitting uh, based on the a character so if i just run this cell so you can see that like th then a is there 
okay a is there so that's it's not there then it's split it to nk and then till where is a is available then a over here so it will take till w then it split it again from t to videos so there are three splits it has done based on the a character in uh, like using stream methods the same thing is going to happen in uh, julia also suppose i like to uh, do some of the methods in julia so if i just copy it and if i just paste it over here and if i run it <coughs> excuse me so you can see that it is uh, now over there and if i like to uh, make it to the upper upper letter make it to the upper in that case julia has a different function that is called uppercase you can see that is already pop up uppercase and you have to use s because s is the variable if i run it you can see that this is going to be the uppercase everything similar thing is going to be lowercase okay lowercase s okay if i run it you can see that everything is going to be lowercase the same thing but and split method is uh, happen in this way like split split you have to give the okay, s that is a string if you run it you can see that it has uh, like split the whole sentence to uh, like in different words based on the spaces and if you like to do the same thing like using a character or some different characters as per your wish so i'm just showing you for a yes and then you have to give the comma okay and then you have to use uh, a okay and if i run it you'll get the same sort of thing but there is another one difference is that in python uh, you can see that the outputs you get as a list okay but in julia you don't get it as a list so so what 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 is it so basically so let's see so type type of type of if i give it the whole thing okay i'll just keep this one i think and if i run this hmm so it's a vector so we take it as a vector okay uh, substring okay take it as a vector and give it a substring their terminology is little different from python so that's it so uh, so that is for all today i hope you like the video if you like it please subscribe to my channel and watch other videos the comparisons and learn julia uh, it is going to be helpful for you in the future maybe not right now but in the future thank you for watching my videos i'll see you soon thanks